In the heart of a dense and foreboding forest, James, an audacious urban mythbuster, embarked on a treacherous journey to unveil the truth behind the legendary creature known as Bigfoot. Equipped with an array of cutting-edge equipment and a relentless spirit, he ventured deeper into the wilderness, his senses heightened with anticipation and a lingering sense of unease. As he pushed through the tangled undergrowth, a thick silence seemed to settle around him, broken only by the hushed whispers of the wind. The forest exuded an eerie aura, its ancient trees looming like silent sentinels guarding long-held secrets. James felt a tingling at the back of his neck, as if unseen eyes were watching his every move. Suddenly, he stumbled upon an unexpected sight, a sprawling cannabis farm concealed within the depths of the forest. The air became thick with the pungent scent of the plants, their lush leaves swaying gently in the breeze. But amidst the foliage, James's heart skipped a beat as he caught sight of Bigfoot, tending to the crop with an air of mystery and purpose. A mixture of fear and fascination seized James as he beheld the enigmatic creature before him. Bigfoot's towering figure exuded a primal power, its eyes filled with ancient wisdom. The air crackled with a palpable energy, a testament to the profound connection between this elusive being and the cannabis farm. James's breath caught in his throat, uncertainty washing over him. He knew that he had stumbled upon a moment of extraordinary significance, an encounter that could potentially unveil the secrets of both Bigfoot and the mysterious power of the cannabis farm. But with such revelation came great danger, as ancient forces awakened in the presence of the Mythbuster. As James cautiously approached, his camera capturing every moment, a sudden chill swept through the air. The forest seemed to hold its breath, an eerie stillness settling upon the scene. Bigfoot's gaze locked with James's, their eyes meeting in a silent exchange of curiosity and caution. An overwhelming sense of foreboding descended upon James, his instincts screaming at him to flee. But a deep-rooted curiosity kept him rooted in place, unable to tear his gaze away from the formidable creature before him. It was a dangerous dance, an intricate balance between fear and fascination. Suddenly, a low growl rumbled from deep within Bigfoot's chest, reverberating through the clearing. James's heart pounded in his ears as he took a step back, his instincts screaming at him to run. But it was too late. In a blur of movement, Bigfoot lunged forward, a force of nature propelled by primal instinct. A surge of adrenaline coursed through James's veins as he turned on his heels, sprinting with all his might. The forest seemed to come alive around him. The once familiar trees now menacing, their branches clawing at his flesh. Every step he took, Bigfoot's thunderous footsteps echoed, growing closer with each passing second. Desperation fueled James's escape, his lungs burning and his legs screaming for respite. But the chase persisted, the relentless pursuit driving him to the edge of his physical and mental limits. The forest seemed to taunt him, its labyrinthine paths shifting and deceiving, as if conspiring to seal his fate within its ominous depths. Fear gnawed at James's core, a constant companion as he fought against the relentless advance of Bigfoot. Shadows danced on the periphery of his vision, feeding his imagination with unspeakable horrors. The line between reality and nightmare blurred, leaving him trapped in a waking torment. Time seemed to stretch into eternity as James navigated the treacherous terrain, his mind a whirlwind of desperation and despair. Each moment held the weight of uncertainty, every breath tinged with the taste of imminent danger. 
But with every ounce of strength he could muster, he pressed on, determined to outrun the encroaching darkness. Finally, with every fiber of his being screaming in agony, James burst out of the suffocating grip of the forest. Gasping for breath, he collapsed onto the safety of an open clearing, his body trembling with exhaustion and relief. Behind him, the forest remained shrouded in mystery, a testament to the secrets that lurked within its enigmatic depths. But the respite was short-lived. As James tried to steady his racing heart, a bone-chilling howl pierced through the air, sending a jolt of terror down his spine. It was Bigfoot, still in relentless pursuit, refusing to let its prey escape. Driven by a surge of survival instinct, James forced himself to his feet, his muscles screaming in protest. The chase had reached a new level of danger, a deadly game of cat and mouse. With renewed determination, he sprinted forward, pushing his body to the limits in a desperate bid to stay one step ahead. Through treacherous terrain and tangled thickets, James weaved, his breath coming in ragged gasps as he fought against the encroaching darkness. The forest seemed to conspire against him, its branches clawing at his clothing, attempting to ensnare him in its clutches. Every step threatened to be his last. Every breath held the possibility of capture. As the moon's pale light cast eerie shadows upon the forest floor, James felt a presence closing in, the heavy thud of Bigfoot's footsteps growing louder and more menacing. Fear gripped him like a vise, his senses heightened to their peak. The forest seemed to morph into a labyrinth of shifting paths, disorienting him, pushing him further into the jaws of the predator. With each passing moment, James's strength waned, his muscles burning with exhaustion, yet a flicker of determination still burned within him, refusing to be extinguished. He summoned every ounce of resilience, his mind a blur of desperation and survival instincts, and survival instinct. Just when it seemed all hope was lost, a stroke of luck favored James. He stumbled upon a rushing river, its gushing waters promising a temporary respite from his relentless pursuer. Without hesitation, he dove into the frigid depths, letting the current carry him downstream. As he fought against the raging waters, James stole a glance over his shoulder, dread tightening in his chest. Bigfoot stood at the water's edge, its eyes gleaming with a primal hunger its massive frame radiating a relentless determination. But James was not defeated. Driven by a newfound surge of adrenaline, he pushed himself to the brink, using every ounce of strength to outpace his pursuer. The river became his ally, a temporary sanctuary in his battle for survival. The chase continued. The river roaring alongside them as James desperately clung to the hope of eluding his relentless adversary. The forest bore witness to this harrowing race, its ancient trees whispering secrets and hiding dangers in their twisted branches. And just when it seemed that James would succumb to exhaustion and the ravenous pursuit, the river opened up into a vast open plain. With a final burst of energy, he surged forward, leaving the confines of the forest and the threat of Bigfoot behind. As he collapsed onto the safety of the open plain, the weight of his ordeal crashed down upon him. Gasping for air covered in mud and soaked to the bone, James knew he had narrowly escaped a fate worse than death. But the memory of the chase would forever haunt his dreams. A testament to the untamed wilderness and the insatiable hunger of the unknown. As he lay there, battered and bruised, James vowed to continue his pursuit of truth, even if it meant delving deeper into the shadows and facing the creatures that dwelled there. For the encounter with Bigfoot had shown him that the line between myth and reality was a thin and treacherous one.
and that some mysteries were not meant to be unraveled without consequences.